Hey everyone, it's Navi Robinson. And it's me, Isaac Ryan Brown. And, and we, we are from, from Raven's Home. Home. Didn't even rehearse that. I know, it was perfect. And we're gonna be telling some embarrassing stories using these emojis. Woo. And the poop emoji was closest to me. Did you do that? No. Okay, so I definitely felt like this in my craziest starstruck moment um, would probably have to be I met Shawn Mendes at like a variety party. Ooh. And he talked to me. I was with um, my friend Sophia Wiley and uh, a couple other people. And we were just talking to him. He was so nice, so like kind and lucky. Really cool. But also, on a musical episode, we had somebody on our set who filmed Glee. She was one of my favorite characters. Um, her name's Heather. And she was so cool. And you were starstruck when you met um, Principal Wentworth, too. He's from the office. Dude, I get starstruck when I meet a lot of people. And that Principal Wentworth, whew, I was elated. I love the office. I'm a huge fan of Kevin Hart. And so I got to go to the premiere of Night School, and I saw him and Tiffany Haddish, and I almost passed out. And not to mention that same night I ran into Ludacris in the bathroom. It was it was a very interesting night, I tell you that, I tell you that. That and, was the um, best night of your life. Yeah, it was a good thing I was in the bathroom. Oh, that's where this emoji comes from. In our school rooms on set, we have, um, each of us has our own computer. We have our own desk and everything. And so um, our teacher, Sissy, she went to help them in their room. Mm -hmm. And so while she was gone, me and Jason, you know, we may have gone to GG Kids, a website where you can play free games or whatnot. <laughs> that may have been something that happened. And she came back with my mother. Ah! I mean, he has to be a good kid I for that being the worst thing that I got never thought that I would get caught. Playing math games. This was me when I was doing it. And this is how I felt when I got caught. It was Raven and Chelsea waving the bra around in the living room. It was about like privacy and whatever. And it was like my training bra essentially on the show. And I couldn't handle myself in that scene. I was laughing <laughs> so, so much. This was me that entire time, but internally, because I couldn't say anything. Um, that didn't last for long. I definitely ended up laughing and I definitely ended up actually <laughs> tripping. I was you know, walking, doing my lines and everything, and I ended up tripping over Raven's foot and fell into the couch with Annalise and Raven, and then at that point, it was just all laughing from there, so. One of my biggest bloopers, it wasn't even on camera, it wasn't on camera, it was during rehearsal. Um, we were rehearsing and we had to run in, but I don't know why, Raven locked the door. <laughs> so I ran in and ran straight to the wall. I said, uh, and I fell down and all they heard was boom. Yeah. So this was me the entire time, I was like, why is the door locked? That's so weird. What's the what is it doing? What is it doing? So I tried to, yeah. And this is me because everybody thought it was like because every fault. no it, it yeah yeah that was what happened yeah. Um, my most embarrassing audition moment was when I auditioned for Broadway. Um, I forgot everything I had rehearsed, all my notes, the pitch, and everything. And I went and I slaughtered Hakuna Matata, but not in a good way. <laughs> I killed the song. It meant all worries for me. <laughs> okay, for me it was definitely uh, singing too. Um, that's where my nerves like really come in because singing is just one of those things that I love. But in some situations, depending on the song, I'm a little you know nervous about when I do it. And so it was just voice cracking basically like constantly out of nerves yeah. because you can control your nerves when you're acting, but when you're singing. It's more vocal. I it's feel like, like I can talk my way out of a situation in acting. Like if they're like, oh, you must align, oh, whatever. I can talk my way out of it. Yeah, you can improv. But you if you suck when you're singing, this song. you can't you just talk your way out of that. It doesn't work, you know? And so it's just like voice cracking and being like, oh, that was not good for me. Yeah. That's it. Then the dude who I was auditioning with, he was like, I've never heard anyone sing a song that terrible. That's what he told me. Did and I was he like, really? he did. And I said, I said, well, can you give me some, I said, can I try one more time? And I did, and, um, and it, was, it was better the second time, but he was like, on Broadway, you only get one shot, da 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 and it was constructive criticism, but when he told me that, it's kind of how like I this. felt. You were like this. You were like this. It was like I this, bet. yeah. Well. Um, it was on my birthday. It was my first birthday on set ever, and um, we got into a cake fight. Um, Raven dumped my head in the cake. I smashed the cake in Navi's face. And then I tried to throw a piece of cake at Raven, but it landed in the set. So, no, when that, that was when you tried to throw him. You tried to, like, I, smash my head into the cake, and then the cake flew into the set. Our producer, Julie, was like, 
No, 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 but there, no, 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 but there was another one right after that when Raven was getting ready to oh, when right, we were walking I left off the stage. stage I was sad. You left the stage and then I was about to smash it and it went right in your set. It was like, so Raven was like, run, 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 run. I said, deuces, I was gone. I ran literally to the other side of the stage and then I was outside the set. And I was like this because my hair was ruined and my face was not <laughs> feeling the sugar. So. I, was, I was gone. This is my entire, I was like, peace. Yeah, the apology came later the other day, when he wasn't <laughs> afraid of me anymore. <laughs> um, one moment just happened the other day. I was at like this um, fashion party, basically, and I was talking to somebody, but the music was really loud, and it's somebody I never met before, right? And I was trying to have like a conversation because I really wanted to talk to them about something um, that we had like mutual, you know, liking in. And we just couldn't hear each other, and that is one of the most awkward conversations to have when you can't hear somebody. So you're What'd you say? Like, what? Like that. Prime example. What? Awkward. It's oh. Not good. Not good. We don't want one of those again. And so that was recent, and I replay it. I've been replaying it since. Earrings for how long? No. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes me feel like. When I was like seven or eight, I, well, no, technically, I want to say I was 12. I want to say I was 12. Um, I was with this girl, right? And she had a brother. And so I wanted to impress her by impressing her brother. I figured if I could get on her brother's good side, I could get on her good side, right? That's Logic. You, that's what you would think, right? So I brought my four-wheeler out of my garage, and we went to the park, and we I was driving my engine. I was like, vroom, vroom, vroom. So I took her brother on a ride on my four-wheeler, and we were like riding across the park. And so there was this hill. So I said, okay, after this, I'll take him back, and then, you know, that'll this will prove that I'm cool. Yeah. And I fell off of the motorcycle, and I burned myself on the engine. That were. was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. She was right there. She saw it. She's obvious. She saw me. Yeah, you good? You good? She saw me, Navia. Just let it out. <laughs> it's not like we, we don't have time restraints or anything. It's not it's not like that. Alright, moving on. Okay. At the RDMAs, um, me and the rest of um, the Nintendo Switch squad, we had to open up. And so um, we messed up the first time. The first time we were the only. I was there I don't in even, the audience. I don't even think we messed up. I think it was some like engineering thing. But how embarrassing is it for the first time you go on to have to do it again? No one else messed up before us. So we were the first mess up of the night. We went on too fast. They queued us in before it was actually time. And so we all were going on at different times and they were like, in the middle of our speech, they were like, stop, stop, stop. Hey, go back, go back, go back. We were like, what's, what's wrong? They were like, go back, we have to do it again. I was like, okay. I think that has to be one of the most embarrassing things ever. And I think it was when I almost fell down on the carpet. I was in heels, you gotta get used to those things, and um, it was not fun, not good. And also, when you're on carpets, they're not just taking pictures, they're also recording. So there may be a video of that. Enjoy, folks, look for it. That's all. <laughs> Navi Robinson falls on carpet. <laughs> carpet. <laughs> when I was in school, I was the best student ever. I never got up and left class, I was never talking, I always finished my work first. But I was like, wow, Isaac, you were such a nerd. Isaac, why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you explore? So um, it's probably the fact that all the rest of my classmates had fun except me. I was always doing my schoolwork and trying to get extra credit. Yeah. Who knows? So that was your fashion? That's, no, you, you know what? It was fashion too because I always came in the sweater with a tie. Oh, got it. It was. And you regret that. You would have came in like athletic wear. Exactly. Done. I wanted to be that kid. And you weren't. I was not. Too late now. <laughs> I walked up to a couple people, Liza Koshi, she was super sweet. Um, some other like athletes and really dope people, so I felt like this. I was starstruck once again. But it was a crazy carpet, a good time. We'll definitely go again next So, year. at the Kids' Choice Awards, it's the exact same thing. I was walking on the carpet and Sky had just passed me and I was talking. And um, I just waited a little while, I don't know, I guess it was my football tuition. Odell Beckham passed me on the carpet. Bro! Actually, I think he was on the carpet with me too. Like, not with me. Bro, I got to take a picture with Odell Beckham. 
That has to be one of the best carpets I've ever been on. Uh, but I think what was embarrassing though is that I walked right up to him and I was like, Yo, whoa, Dale, can I get a picture? Desperation. What's the emoji? Finest. I was such a groupie. It was not groupie. But I met Odell Beckham. And that is the positive. That's one. that's the spin on it. Right. Woo! Thank you guys for joining us for our embarrassing stories. We had a lovely time. Yes. Make sure you subscribe to 17. I do. And you guys it's can really catch good. us on Raven's Home Friday nights, 8 o'clock p.m. We will see you guys. More later. episodes.